And as we go from the uh, psychics to the uh, physicists, Jason, take us into our next segment, will you? So we have a very interesting a very interesting story for you this afternoon. As a psychic from Dartmouth College, Marcelo Glasser insists that reality in which we live cannot possibly be simulated. Um, Don't you mean physicist? Y- y- yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be physicist. <laughs> and, and no one's going to get that reference. But anyways, uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let me change it up a bit. Uh, this is your chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill and skip ahead about 20 minutes. Then you can believe whatever you have been told by others. Or you could take the brown pill and you stay with your favorite nonprofits. And I'll show you just how deep this rabbit hole goes. It's okay. It's ibuprofen. I'm over 40. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we're, we've got an article about uh, how a, a simulation theory uh, we've heard it on the show many, many times where people do believe that our reality is simulated. Uh, but I would say that uh, let's go ahead and throw it to Teo. What do you think about this simulation theory not being possible? Um, oh, the silly idea is silly. What a surprise. So shocking. Uh, whenever I read something that one guy said something I'm always skeptical because you need a whole community, you know, realizing that, oh, yeah, those findings kind of make sense and we can try this. But so, so of course, as soon as I read this, I was like, yeah, sure, this must be something incredible that this guy discovered. But no, it's just trying to explain why uh, this philosophical idea of, no, either it's my mind creating everything around me, which come on, I could never create this world that surrounds me. It's not that I don't like it, but I just don't like it. Or that hey, there hey, are hey, news... don't, don't, don't hold yourself. Don't sell yourself short, Tayo. Okay, you're right. If my mind is as awesome as I think, I could create somebody as you, of course, dear queen. Of course, totally. Oh, you see, see, you know, raging sycophants around here. Of course, totally. But, okay, maybe my mind could create this and give me the problems that I have right now. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's a shitty mind. Who knows? But if we try to go with the other idea, oh, yeah, there is a matrix. A perfect matrix is impossible because perfection is unattainable and a real matrix would have lots of glitches that everybody would be exploiting. This guy tries to go even further beyond and try to explain that, okay, that matrix needed somebody to create the matrix that needed another matrix where it was created. So it's just, you know, infinite regression. And this whole article read more like a philosophical discussion than something that a physicist would try to, you know, explain. Teo, it's just, it's turtles all the way down. It's turtles all the way down, of course, sure. Uh, (laughs) I, oh, yeah. August? Well, uh, I got super excited just reading this because for me personally, this is kind of different than um, what we've talked about before on here, at least when I've been on here. So uh, really, I just chalk it up to sounds cool to think about. Um, I'm not a physicist. I don't really know how it works. Um, I think the implications of it maybe are a little meh, but um, I don't know. It just seems like a cool thing to me. I think we should definitely look into it and try to test it if we can. I saw um, one of the people was saying that there might be a way to test it, and I don't know anything really about physics. I try to stay away from physics. Um, we're not friends. I have I have beef with physics, but um, you know I think it's. See, cool. We try to fold in. Some, we try to fold in some protein into your nonprofit's diet whilst we're around here. Right, right. Um, you know, I just I, the only thing I think I didn't like about this article in particular was that someone said we can't prove we're not living in a simulation, and I believe that was a philosophist. Uh, philosopher that was saying that um but they yeah they were basically saying that uh we can't prove we're not living in a simulation and i'm like i i'm kind of getting the you can't prove there isn't a god vibes and i don't really like that um it just seems like the argument from incredulity of you know i don't understand therefore eh, you know and so i'm like i'm not gonna say i understand it i definitely don't it's way over my head But I feel like there is a neutral position and I feel like, you know, maybe I didn't look into the article uh, as much. Maybe they did say this, but I feel like there's a neutral position. There's 
we are living in a simulation and there's we are not living in a simulation and then there's people like me who are in the middle going mm, i don't know sounds cool uh i have no idea so my stance is uh i don't believe it it's cool to think about but until there's evidence for it i'm kind of just like cool story bro um doesn't really impact my life very much, but I definitely, definitely think it should be explored. And it just sounds fascinating to me. And I probably will go binge some YouTube videos about it after this. But, All right. Yeah, Jason, what do you say think? We, we, Jason, go on then. <laughs> Sorry, Phoebe. So, oh, you, you know, see, I need cutting down occasionally. <laughs> it, well, so, I mean, you, you said some things there, like, you know, you don't understand the, the physics behind that. And that's perfectly understandable. And, and there are so many different type of simulation theories. Uh, you know, we've got some popular ones like the matrix or the Sims where, you know, we're just plugged into a computer or we are the program and somebody is, is controlling us. Uh, they talked about now the, the, in this article, they briefly touched on, something to do about cosmic rays that studying them can somehow, I, and, and I tried to read that paper and it was like a lot of different uh, academic papers full of uh, semantic nonsense. But uh, another one that I, I never heard was the idea of a Minecraft thing where the universe is just broken up into little chunks. And as you move into one chunk or another, it builds a whole new thing. I'm like, okay, wow, that, that's, that's really cool. Uh, but like, there's trying to look out uh, into the deep cosmos to try to find the pixels of the universe. Uh, sometimes they go deep into like the the Planck level of things to try to see that. Oh well, maybe electrons and neutrons they're ones and zeros of the massive program, and all of it is just kind of like like you said, August. It's it's a lot of cool story, bro. And yeah, how do you create a tool to within the universe, within that computer, within that virtual machine, uh, to use a computer term, to then go outside and see the environment further as it is? Again, personal. I have my own personal incongruity, but at the end of the day, I can say, I don't know, but if you come up with something, I'm willing to listen to it. But yeah, I, I have to I have to jump in here. But whenever anyone uses phraseology like we can't prove we're not XXX in this situation, living in a simulation, I I, I feel they just haven't got a clue that the, what they're talking about, and they're just going no criticism, criticism go away, please, no 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 criticism, no 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 no. no. Uh, I mean, we can't prove that a deity does not exist. That doesn't mean that I go around bathing in Pascal's wager going, oh, look, I can't prove it doesn't exist. I mean, these claims from these proponents, are, they're no different to people claiming that like, lizard people are running the British monarchy or, you know, the elders of Zion have invaded Mars or something. I mean... These are created in some cases so far outside the Overton window that they can't even be thrown back through it to be defenestrated through the Overton window. We have got to a point where somebody has come along and gone, hmm, I think that we could be living in a simulation. I can't prove it's not a simulation, so I'm going to say it is a simulation. Rather than going... Why on earth am I saying it's a simulation in the first place? <laughs> oh, and I mean, it just gets to the point where I could say I live inside this ruler and I come out of it 15 times a day to talk to other people, but I live inside this ruler. I can't prove I don't live inside that ruler, but that's where we are. And I'm willing I to believe like it. I feel I may have overextended the metaphor here. So if, if a, you know, very summer breezy kind of August can take me out of my, you know, wonderful ruler that I've got here, I'd be very much appreciative, please. Yeah. Um, I just think it's kind of just, uh, wow, this is really cool. And I know in certain things, like I've, I've seen on, uh, on Truth Wanted, people call in about simulation theory all the time. And it's like, you're not a physicist. You don't know what's going on, but whatever. Um, I also, I think I kind of chalk it up to the same thing as like the, I believe it's the Fermi paradox, where it's like, 
where's all the other intelligent life? And there's some people who are like, ooh, there's aliens. And then there's like, no, there's no way there's any kind of life outside of us that's intelligent. And I'm sitting here like, mm, I don't know. Sounds cool. I want to look into it. But like, it's kind of just like a mind boggling, just blows my mind every time. It's way over my head. But one thing I do want to bring up, um, kind of circle it back to the potentially religious side of it, is the fact that if there's a simulation, it, it brings to the forefront the idea of free will and if there is free will. And I believe that, like, you know, even amongst, uh, you know, non believer skeptics, there is a lot of discussion about whether we think we have free will or not. And, completely absent of religion. And there's a lot of people uh, without religion who say, no, I don't think we have free will. And there's other that say, yeah, I think maybe we do. We're, we're autonomous. So I thought that was really cool to, to think about, well, if we are just in The Sims 4, then, you know, what does that mean for our decisions? And I think it could go into brain chemistry and all this kind of stuff. So whew, it is a definitely a rabbit hole of, of things. So um, what do you think, Tia? Well, you took, I was going to say exactly the same about uh, free will because it's hard to define it. I mean, what is free will? Is it actually being able to do anything that you want? Because that is not possible due to many uh, things that are going to define if you have the capacity to do it, uh, resources, et cetera, et cetera. Or is it making my own choices? Because we know that the brain decides before I can make my thoughts conscious. So yes, yeah, you said it's very hard to know what is actually going on. And what you mentioned about the alien things, one of my favorite uh, comics that I've seen is two figures. One guy is talking to a figure, they are looking at the stars, and one says, are we alone in the universe? And the figure answers, yes, we are. Oh, so there are no others out there? Yes, they are alone too. Because, of course, distance are so huge that it's, you know, we are all alone in the universe because other life, it's separated by millions and millions of years. And now that we're talking about these crazy theories, may I introduce you to the theocentric theory of the universe where the whole universe was created just for me? It's my new religion. Oi, I'm the universe you to... was created for me. Me. Oh. Me and my ego. Oi. My theocentric universe says the theory of the universe is other thing, but we will have to describe it. But okay. Okay, Phoebe, what do you want to say? Phoebe is just an NPC in my universe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I was chatting to Jason earlier, and he's got some experiment that he wants to try. So, so let's yeah. have this experiment of yours that we were chit-chatting about earlier. Come on. Okay. Uh, so everybody, go ahead and raise your arm. It's going to be a little bit hard because of the frame that we're in, but everybody raise your arm. Okay. You all lost your free will. You all lost your free oh, will. I willed you. I willed you to raise your arm. Wow. And so, that's therefore, deep, that's that's deep, bro. Yeah. Can I put it down yet? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Jason, what if I was not able to raise my hand? Good. That means that I don't have free will either. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Because maybe by me exerting my will on you. I actually wanted you to not raise your hand. So again, we're going into a kind of a solipsistic. Oh, wow, that was solipsistic, mate. Yeah, there you go. To there sum you up, go. you said Uno reverse. Yeah, so it could have it could have been that. You you don't know because already I exerted my will, whether you wanted to or not, whether I wanted you to or not. How do you prove that? So again, the idea of free will is something that is so innately weird because at the end of this episode i'm gonna still have to go to work <laughs> yeah that's true if if life was so easy as to say oh yeah there is a god and he gave us free will and not think about it life would be so easy oh wait no it makes things even worse because now you're not thinking on your own <sighs> oh but where did evidence and reason go i mean I'm one of these strange people who present me with some evidence, present me with some reason, or frankly, get out of town. I mean, get out, clear off. But I mean, I'm going to be a bit of a poo-pooer here. This kind of stuff, I just switch off. I just, I just switch off. I mean, 
I find these things have less substance in them than my copy of the National Enquirer that I enjoy reading. But I think that we've potentially overextended this part. But I leave you with something that Jason's going to like. That physics, the psychics at Caltech and the Femory National Accelerator Lab, you know what? I'm pretty sure are supposed to be physicists because I think it's the psychics that are coming up with this rubbish. But yes, don't does anybody don't have scientists... any final thing that they want to say before we, you know, put this one out to tenure? Yes, don't scientists have a term for this something called mental masturbation, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> for these ideas? <laughs> 